we have a honey dew melon. So beautiful little dew. Now this one was withering and dying when I put it in a different when I was swapped it to this pot because I didn't repot it correctly. Didn't have enough of the natural soil that it was around. But we rejuvenate. I got the recipe. Wait on it! <laughs> and corn. I just put these in on a whim. I got some in the middle. I can't remember what it is here in the middle. But corn, definitely buying pots for these today. Got to do it today. Corn, corn and zucchini. The zucchini is growing great. Well, these are the red onions that we ate off of from the store. I had one right here, but it died out. Not too many things dying out around here, praise God. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember what the name of this is. I'm gonna look it up. Got a mint. Shout out to homie Mike that gave that to me. But leave. Yeah, I also planted a random lemon. I also have a lemon in the pineapple on the show. So leave my prize is on the low. <laughs> Red potato plants going crazy. He bucks like hope. RP. RP to GG. But great growth. Good soil. Good nutrients. You know what I'm saying? This is only month two. Already that high. Beautiful. This is probably one or one and a half of my red, my sweet potato, I mean. And it is sprouting beautifully. Very beautiful. This is the one that the chipmunks love the most. Something took my red tomato, what I'll show in a second, off of the plot, but another one got taken care of. It is so active. I don't be wanting to do it, but I mean, you know, gotta protect my own. Orange plant, these are starting to bloom a little more. I think he's getting used to the new pot. Changed the pot two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Maybe three. Some more prizes. The red onions that I got from Bulbs. Ain't going crazy. Going nuts. Ain't done. This is just from planting, putting one. I had three in and they start to, you know do that thing. I also give my plants a lot of what I drink. So I drink lemon and cucumber water every day. And they don't get that every day, but I do make sure that all of my plants get a dose of it at least once a week. The corn that I had, my paws, then I switched the repot just like the honey do melon. It was dying and withering away. You can also see So, this is not just from sunny storage because it hasn't been too aggressively hot yet down here. Montgomery, Alabama. But, uh, bring it back to life. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Back healthy around here. Nice and strong. Nice and sturdy. Good, good. Started to split off. So, this, this is just from one and then extra two coming off I ain't, I ain't complaining good soil you know what I'm saying turn off pineapple plants and the little lemon right. but I will definitely be switching out my lemon plant pot so very soon you know what I'm saying I'm not in a rush because it's doing the thing but I will be changing it. I do believe that my pineapple is doing something because the crown here in the middle looks a little smaller and it looks like it's producing something. So I was worried, but I'm grateful and I'm patient now. <laughs> you feel me? This is my new potato pot. I put a russet, yeah, a russet potato in this. So we're just waiting on the growth, you know what I'm saying? It's been maybe 
two weeks, but I'm not too worried because these were all store pot potatoes. Well, these two weren't, I'm sorry. But this was a store pot store bought sweet potato. And that is dope. That is growing like that. And I'm just gonna breed out all the bad stuff, you know what I'm saying? With the water and how I'm fertilizing and all that great stuff. Here we got the kale. Leo, I'm just getting into the mini farming on that. See, it's starting to wither because of the heat and the little bugs. Change color, you know what I'm saying? So this is, like I said, this is all an experiment. It is for survival, but it's an experiment. Little baby kale popping up, you know what I'm saying? It's like the microgreens. And this pineapple here, I definitely don't know if it's doing something or not. I see that spider. There you go. Anyway. But like this one, I'm just gonna be patient and then do it, keep doing what I'm doing. Water on water here, making sure it's exposed by the sun the most as possible. You know what I'm saying? And we have a bell peppers. This is just from, like I said, a store bought. And I just simply cut the top out, cutting all around it, chopping all the parts off and using it for meals and things of that nature. And I put the top out with all the different little seeds, and this is what came to be. This is two months. Grew very fast, though. Very, very fast. Strong little roots and gatherings. Do you believe it could be done soon? I also had a bok choy put in here, but I believe it probably just went away. Me and bok choy don't get along that great as far as growing, but I'm gonna perfect that as well. Here I am. I am so sorry for that chip. I'm in a trap screaming. I thought I just don't want to bother him. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go ahead and let them go out. I don't want to just off him like that. That's why I have him. Anyway, plant. I'm just gonna hydroponically grow this. And has been growing and showing new blooms, as you can see on the smaller part. See the small leaves. Good, healthy, beautiful roots. You know what I'm saying? Growing strong. Let's do some leaves up here. Other mint plants. Growing nicely as well. Pushing out. You can see it's still blooming, blossoming at the bottom. I'm gonna definitely have to repot this one. But I'm doing the two just to do a difference of hydroponic and soil base. It's a tomato plant that I bought or harvested my little babies from yesterday. My five. Having some bug issues, but I have made some natural uh natural bug repellent with garlic and peppermint oil it's spraying around there. as you can see it's turning red this is a hybrid plant shot of bonnet and higher fruit cherry tomatoes nice little clusters we still have some ready to hold on healthy and strong. Just gotta worry about the little bugs. This is hanging over. So I'll probably be repotting this soon. Uh, probably be vertical. Yeah, yeah, vertical. Try to on track. And I have a shout out to my yoga client Jasmine. She gave me two aloe vera plots plants and it turned out to be 
three, the one of them was splitting off. One of them I put in my room. I'm checking the progress on that, and it is beautiful, beautiful. This one here, I know that with how I'm going to be feeding it, the proper water and things. I'm checking it now. I mark it now on today. I'm growing this part, this part back. This bend right here is going to get stronger, or we'll see the thickness of the leaf. Now, in a couple weeks and a month, so there's a second plot, plant, plot, plant thing. I know for a fact this one is getting the right water. I just put a paper towel in just to keep the water conserved, as you can see. Just from time to time, maybe once, twice a week. Just to get it back to full health before I put them in the house and get them back for sure. And here I have some romaine lettuce that we got from the store. Supply this in the water hydroponically. I also put some tea bag, tea bag though, <laughs> that I uh, use. It also has like little dust of turmeric, cinnamon. On this one, I'm growing tremendously. Ooh, yeah. This one is starting to sprout as well at the bottom. Awesome. From my wild garden <laughs> that I started, one plant stalk has started, and it's the corn. So it's good and strong. I'm definitely going to be moving it soon just to make sure it grows properly, even though it is now. Just want to get a good close up on the roots and everything. You know what I'm saying? There's possibly an onion over here as well. Shout out to my lawn man. That's not him in the back of someone else's. And here is one of the potato seed that I planted on 420 as well. So yeah, that is what I have going in my garden. It's a little spread out, but it's an experiment. Everything is an experiment and an experience in the life of higher living. It's your boy Trill. Shout out to the most high that is within us all and it is everything. We just getting back in harmony with things. Even though things are crazy out on the outside, we gonna turn up on the inside to make a change on the out. Um, much love to everybody on earth shout out to and the things that are outside of earth shout out to everything you know what i'm saying uh if you have questions or comments leave them below email me um yeah everything moving in motion praise be the most high organic flow and alignment love